So back in 2008, it uh, feels like yesterday really, when the league was established, but um, I remember a huge excitement about the beginnings of a W League and the A-League had already started, so um, there was a huge buzz about that. I just remember being excited to be part of it and, um, you know, playing it at huge grounds we'd never sort of played at with um, amongst your, your players that you've grown up playing it was really special. Looking back, I never would have thought, you know, I was happy, I was privileged um, and proud to play one game, let alone 100. So, um, you know, every game I go out now, I sort of try to make the most of because, you know, you don't know, you don't know how many more you're going to play. In terms of the potential of the W League, I think it's absolutely limitless. Um, there are so many young girls that are playing sport now and I think football is probably the best sport for them. You know, I'd love to see our, our game lead the way in terms of women's sport and I think it's got you know the potential to do so. I've played football since I was five six years old so it's been a huge part of my life and my family's really um, you know from a very young age um, and over the course of those years I've met you know lifelong friends I've been to places I would never have <laughs> you know traveled um, without football so it's helped me not only with football, but it, you know, socially with my work, I'm a teacher now. So there's there's things that interrelate within the, the two careers. So um, no, it's it's honestly been great for me. In these kids, you see them that how much they adore you at school, and you adore them, and then you see them in the crowd, they're like, Miss Price, I call out, and you, you run over, and so it's sort of like, I don't know, I, I, it's hard to explain, but when you when you see them at a game, it's a really rewarding feeling and you sort of hope that in some way you're, you're wrong, especially for young young girls that you can do this too one day or whatever you want whatever you set your mind to you can you can achieve that as well it gets tiring get home you know you, you go to work you don't go home you have to stay back a bit uh, then you've got your, your football bag packed you go straight to training sit in traffic for an hour and a half train for a couple hours warm down recover hop in the car, do it all again, get home late, can't, it's a bit late to eat dinner, so you have sort of a snack packed already. Um, and then, you know, try and get enough sleep to be happy and chirpy, Miss Polite, the next day at school. Um, for me, it's been really easy. You know, I choose to play because I love it and um, I wouldn't change that for the world and I want to play for as long as I can. I don't like making mistakes and maybe in a way that's sort of a weakness because it, it keeps me in um, like a sort of safe zone where I won't try anything outrageous or um, spectacular. But I think also in, in my position I play the, the holding mid, you sort of have to have that, that um, conservative sort of nature as well. You know, you look at Princess Ibini, you look at Remy Simpson, Nat Tobin, Liv Price, these are all excellent young players that they're, they're the future of our team. So it's, it's nice to be out there with him and um, maybe after my career, be, you know, hopefully stay in touch with the team and work with them in some way for sure. Look, the love that I have for football, I mean, it's it's defined me really my whole life. It's been such a part of me and I, I could easily walk away tomorrow and say, oh, I've got my job, don't want to play. But I, I just, over the years, I, I just can't walk away. You know? and, and at times I've been sort of, I'm a bit over it and wanting to sort of have a break, but then I, I have a break and I want to come back. So. Um, oh, the day I have to walk away is going to be pretty hard, I think. But um, look, it happens to everyone. But for now, I just want to enjoy it while, while it's here and make the most of it.